So uh, it feels like the subs could be the gateway to power. What do you think? Well, I think it, it, I think having the um, uh, the subs in sort of detoxifies the word nuclear to, to an extent. I think they're two they're, they're probably two slightly different things. But in some case, some people seem to think that we need a nuclear industry in order to support the subs. I think probably they can be separate. But we clearly need a nuclear industry, and if we're going to going to re renew our fix up our um, energy system and get to somehow towards net zero carbon emissions. So you're the smart bloke, so get stand by for some dumb bogan questions, but because you're going to get a couple here. Um, we know there's a federal moratorium. We know that there's several state moratoriums. Before anything happens, we would have to have votes to flip those things nationally and at a state level, wouldn't we? So certainly the, 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 the legislation prohibits a nuclear energy industry, prohibits facilities for nuclear energy. And so this, these really desperately need to be removed so that one can deal with them, I guess, install, have nuclear energy grid. Okay, so if you were to uh, have a power station, how long do they take to build? How much do they cost? The, the amount of money, well, it, it's, it's a bit, there's many different estimates of cost. The, the, the length of time to build is, you know, about, say, eight, eight to 10 years, eight years. The, the, one does need to sort of some regulatory systems in place beforehand. That takes a little bit more time, but in the United Arab Emirates have, have decided in 10 years ago, or 15, 11 years ago, to have nuclear power. They, they put in some regulatory system. They brought in, purchased some reactors from Korea, both from South Korea. And these reactors are now, two of them are operating, and another two are in the process of um, final checking before they come on power. This was These are large nuclear power plants, and they went from starting starting up deciding to have it and having plants running within 12 years. Is there anything that is peculiar to Australia that helps or hurts the idea of establishing one of these things? Because obviously they're not going to be in the middle of a major city. Um, what does it mean that we're a country surrounded by water um, and, uh, and, and the distances that would be required for the, uh, the transmission cables? I think the, the, a nuclear power plant could very easily go in, place of, in places or sites where the coal plants are being shut down. There'd be a grid, grid there, there's cooling water there. It would be a good opportunity to add nuclear into the mix at that point. So in terms of the, the obvious resistance, we know where it was in the 1980s. Do you think that the times have changed that... Um, the zero-sum game about emissions opens the door to this being the option because obviously a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, uh, restrictions were put in place at, at a very different time in the globe and a different demand on what Australia um, was expected to do. It was at a time when coal fire power was, of course, um, you know, the main game. Yes, I think it's. I mean, it's, it's been a good option. I think that talking to the community, there's a lot more enthusiasm for nuclear these days than it was 20 years ago. I guess 20 years ago, coal was a very popular source of power. Um, it was cheap. One, one put a mine in, put a coal plant alongside it, and it was much easier to do that. Um, I guess now, now with, the, with the need to reduce carbon emissions, nuclear is one of the four, nuclear, four I suppose, main tech, clean technologies which are available for us now to um, use and it's and the only technology as well as hydro where it's you know it's 24 hours 24 hours seven days a week in terms of the the, the byproducts the waste uh, we know that at one point in time south australia was seriously talking about uh, becoming a place where uh, this could end up being uh, taken where does the bad stuff end up <laughs> well this i mean when you talk about why you're talking about nuclear the waste and nuclear what about what about the waste from all the millions and millions of solar panels? Or the, oh no, no, absolutely, or the absolutely. I mean, one is one is focused on the nuclear issues. The small amounts of waste, um, it is it is has to be properly managed. It's been managed in all these countries where, where the four hundred nuclear power plants are operating around the world. Um, it's got to be properly managed. We know how to manage it. We know how to dispose of it. We, one is we dug up radioactive uranium, put it in the put in the reactor. We end up with some long-lived radioactive waste, but 
Um, this is actually less long lived than the uranium with which it came from. Yeah, good point. Good on you, John. Nice to talk to you, mate. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Paul.